Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to discuss about some questions in which you have to think like a manager. This video can be very useful for the IC Square aspirants who are preparing for their IC Square certifications like CISSP, CCSP, CSSLP, ICSAP, ICSMP, ICSCP. This video can give you a great perspective about how to think like a manager, not like a practitioner. When to select BIA, when to select cost benefit analysis, when to select the outcome, all those parameters we're going to cover in this video. If you're new to my channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. So without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Thank you. Okay, so let's start with the first coffee shot. Prab is a security consultant and recently he joined a new organization. He is responsible for end-to-end -end security assessment or security governance of an organization. While reviewing meetings with stakeholder, he saw that some deliverables and metrics were inadequate as per the company policies and vision. What is the next step Prab must take to tackle this situation, situation about the deliverables caps. Okay, so question talking about Prab has joined one organization where he is responsible for end-to-end -end security governance of an organization. He did the meeting where he identified some gaps between what is agreed and what is delivered. So how to tackle this situation? What is the next step? So question talking about sequence because question has a word called next. Question has a keyword called what. Mostly in the IC square exams, when you're talking about what I have seen while practicing questions and all that, what, who, and why. Mostly if these questions, these keywords are there, mostly it's a management question. If it start with what, who, and why, think about why we need that. Okay, so here, what is the next step? It means, why should I take that step? Who will get a benefit from that step? What is a benefit we get? Okay, so any question start with what, who, and why. Think about why first. Why we need this? Because why required initiatives? Why required assessment? Why required the cost? Understood. We don't, see, as a security consultant, we have a limited budgets. In limited budget, we need to provide the maximum security. Okay, it's not something, okay, the company has a budget of $7,000. Let's spend entire $7,000. It's not like that company has some fixed budget by which we need to create a value and security is the enabler for the business. You need to understand that when it comes to security company always have a limited budget and this is something is going to be test in your exam. Okay, so in exam, they're going to test your mindset. In the exam, they're going to test your thought process. Okay, they will give you problems, you need to give a solution. In this question also, they're talking about the problem that the things was not delivered as per what they agreed. So what is the first step? The first step is suggest the changes as per the business requirement. See, one more important thing, whenever you receive a problem, never ever work on the implementation. Just suggest the changes. What changes? What level of changes? We don't know. Are based on what factor you're going to suggest the changes until and as you don't have a visibility about what level of gaps are there how can you suggest the changes your role is basically a consultant your role is a manager where you first assess and then suggest but your role is not an action plan your role is not to implement anything one thing always remember in the entire cssp exam ccsp exam or any other exam of ic square so suggest the changes as per business requirement, that is definitely not a next step for me as a consultant. Call the old consultant and understand what the need to be done. Why the uh, person who already left, I will speak to him. Okay, we get the understanding, but he already left the organization. Does not make sense. Call him and ask him. Conduct the gap assessment makes sense because we need to identify, okay, things are not delivered as per things, but what is the level of gaps that we need to understand? Conduct the BIA. See, there's a thin line difference between the gap assessment and BIA. BIA basically helped me to prioritize what need to be recovered first, what is important for an organization. But the question is not talking about anything about recovery priority and all that. So first thing, I will do the gap assessment where we identify the gap and based on the gap, whatever the controls we required, 
for that we basically prepare the strategy and by that we address the gap so here my role as a consultant i will first identify what is the level of gap we have and based on that i will prepare the action plan that is why i am going with the answer c conduct the gap assessment so always always remember whenever any question talk about what they have and what they need to achieve what they agreed which is not delivered the first thing we need to identify level of gap which is not delivered that is the first thing we have to do and then based on the gap we identify the risk then based on a risk we identify the impact analysis and then you suggest the changes then you suggest your recommendation you will recommend your controls but your role is not to implement the controls so in this case the answer is basically gap assessment let's move to the next coffee shop okay prab is a security consultant and recently he joined a new organization he conducted end to end security risk assessment of an organization during an assessment he discovered some issues and gaps his team post assessment has requested to implement some controls prab is preparing a proposal and need to submit same to the management for an approval what is the best way to obtain the management commitment and support for information security initiatives in the organization now in this question first we need to identify the scope the scope is the risk assessment is already done okay the scope here is preparing a proposal okay anything which is come under the proposal is very important and second thing what is the outcome for the prab here is they need a management approval so this is the scope and this is the outcome we need now question is what is the best way to get the management commitment again the question talking about what okay so what why and who so as i said question talking what is the best way to obtain the question is why we need why we need a initiatives who will get a benefit from those initi initiative and what is the level of benefit so why we need this because to support the governance who will get a benefit most important benefit will get by the senior management and what is the benefit to meet the business requirement so question talking about a sequence again so not sequence the question talking about what is the parameter we can use by which i can convince the management because keyword talking about best best mean use according to the situation normally management will approve but what is a factor we need to consider for a management approvals okay what is the biggest factor is play in this condition option a use outstanding example of successful attacks of and competitors and explain how it impact your organization see senior management they never have a time to understand about the tactical attacks and there's no point of using a competitor reference and explaining about the attack so a definitely removed option b ensure security risk are linked to the critical business goals that makes sense because when we trying to convince the management that we need a control for this particular risk it is very important you need to map those risk with the business goals i am agree with that third analyze the company security measures in perspective of industry standard see there is no point of taking a industry standard as a benchmark it is good to have but that is not a best way to obtain the commitment might be that standard is basically required lot of cost and everything which is not required as per the business man management live example pci dss not necessary that it is a regulatory requirement it's just a standard okay my first objective is that all the gaps should be addressed as per the business goals industry standard we will use as a tool by which we implement the controls d is assessment of risk to the organization but the question is it mean that it is a past tense it mean they already completed the risk assessment so when you reading a question understand the past present tense okay so activity is already done so there is no point of again doing a assessment of a risk so d removed a removed we left with b and c the closed option is ensure the security risk are linked to the business goals or business objective that's why the answer is b for beta let's move to the next coffee shop thank you okay neha a member of finance department at a large corporation has submitted a incident ticket regarding a data breach to the information security team company is acquiring the incident response and forensic assistance from the managed security service provider to understand the data breach 
what is the first step need to be considered for managing the situation now there are three keywords are there first is they submit the incident ticket it means past tense regarding a data breach to the information security company company is acquiring present tense okay okay so problem statement is incident ticket is a problem statement and now we need to acquire the incident response forensic assistance to manage this particular things. What is the first step? Question talking about sequence. So three key, key keywords are there. Scope is the incident ticket, how to handle this and what is the first step to handle the situation. Option A, remove the system from the network. Definitely it is a not a good practice. Remove the network cable, that makes sense. But removing a system from the network without doing an impact analysis does not make sense. That is definitely not a first step. Inform the customer about the data breach, makes sense. Validate and confirm the incident first makes sense and inform the CDM admin about the issue. See, I can also eliminate B and I also eliminate D because sometimes what happens, user report the false incidents. So first thing, question talking about first step. So first step is validate and confirm the incident first because question talking about the first. Okay, as I said, again, the word is what? So think about why first. Okay why we need to consider the situation because we need to reduce the impact who will basically get a more benefit from reducing the impact is management so first validate the incident first then you basically uh, if it's a confirmed incident then inform the inc incident about the thing to the management and then inform the customer and then you remove the network so here there's a cost involved in acquiring the incident response and forensic assistance just imagine if it's not an incident and we just hire the service then it impact the cost our goal is to save the budget. Our goal is to save the cost. So first, confirm the incident. Never ever take action. First, do your due diligence. Confirm and validate the incident. It is a true. And then take your due care by informing the customer and inform the senior management. So in CSSP exam, first you have to confirm and verify for any activity. Any activity. Suppose you receive some policies. They are inadequate. You cannot directly trust that, okay, it's inadequate until unless you do your due diligence. So first you always do due diligence on the questions. Okay, do you have enough evidence which can state? If not, first ask for the evidence because writing, it does not mean happens. Go look and verify. In this case also reported an incident, but it doesn't mean it happens. Go look and verify. That is why I first validate what is, has been reported. That's why the answer is basically C. Let's go through the next question. Okay, aspirants limited use FTP server that hold sensitive data. During an assessment information, a security consultant discover mail server allow anonymous FTP access. So this is the scope of the question. This is the problem statement. So this problem I need to fix, which could be exploited. What process should information security manager do next to determine the necessity of a remedial action? Two things are there. Scope here is, which is a problem statement is, I need to solve the issue of FTP. And for that, what will be the next step for my remedial action? So remedial action is basically my outcome. Okay. Option A, cause benefit analysis. Definitely cause benefit analysis will be there, but this is, will be in the case when the question talking about best. And when the question talking about the control selection, here the question talking about next where they have identified the vulnerability. Second is risk assessment. See, risk assessment is a driving factor for any organization. If you buy a new project, if you go for the new project, if you go for the existing project, you modify something, the first thing we have to do the risk assessment. Risk assessment is basically all about identifying the threats, vulnerability, associate impact and based on that we try to prioritize the risk so risk assessment is a driving factor for any company now i have seen a lot of people get confused between the risk assessment bia and cost benefit analysis neat so when we're talking about the cost benefit analysis we have to select cost benefit analysis as an option in that case where the question is specifically talking about selection of a control so risk is already identified and they have already analyzed. Now they are in a stage of selection of a control and cost benefit analysis is the most important step because there's no need for going for the expensive control. One thing you need to remember, you are a consultant, you are working as a security consultant who enabler the business by security. 
security is a enabler for the business not a disabler so when we talking about the control recommendation the most important parameters in the control recommendation come from a cost benefit analysis so if the question talking about from a cost uh, from the control selection control parameters control implementation cost benefit analysis is the best answer second is if the question talking about from a business criticality criticality business prioritization okay what to restore then answer will be bia but they have not started anything they just identify threats and vulnerability and they want to do further analysis of their impact see identifying threats okay there is a ransomware threat which might attack my server might because risk is always based on might probability so we know there is a threat which is a ransomware threat which going to hack my server and they going to encrypt the file till this part it's okay but i need to know the impact so until unless i don't know the impact i cannot go for the control selections sorry i will not go for, uh, you know uh, i need uh, without that i cannot go for the risk prioritization whether we need to avoid the risk whether we need to mitigate the risk whether we need to accept the risk whether we need to transfer the risk and now we have decided that we need to mitigate this then we go for the control there we doing a control selections in that we add the cost benefit analysis in this question if you notice they just said ftp access is there it mean we have discovered the vulnerability and associate threat question talking about next step it mean question talking about sequence to address this problem statement so submit the issue to the management they will say what is the impact i have no idea doing a pt they have already done that that's why we have seen this issues so as a consultant i will do the risk assessment so risk assessment will identify the business impact of the vulnerability which been exploited and also see what is the level of impact we have so that is why i am going with the answer risk assessment process okay let's move to the next coffee shot okay it's a bit tricky question question is what is the first again the question talking about sequence to be consider question is what consider to analyze the possible impact of a loss of on assets toward the organization the question talking what is the first parameter we need to consider option a value of the asset option b value of the impact option c risk of an asset and option d criticality of an assets very good point see this is my server okay hacker hack into the server by some vulnerability and there is a loss of $20000 data we know there is a loss value but this value we can able to understand based on a business value until unless i don't know business value how can i know the impact value understood so question talking first definitely risk of an asset come from a likelihood impact but here before impact they talking first step so that is basically removed criticality definitely but criticality sensitivity also need to be understand value of impact is a overall outcome but the question talking first step that is where the answer is value of assets value include your criticality and sensitivity and monetary so until unless we don't know the value of asset we cannot able to drive the risk assessment that's where the answer is a for alpha so this is all from my side do let me know your comments about this video and uh, do let me know what are the steps of bia okay and uh, please also let me know shall we make some similar kind of a videos okay further on cssp see some ccsp and all that okay and if you new to my channel do subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic thank you goodbye